Good afternoon, everybody. We're picking it back up in Revelation chapter 5. We left it um, yesterday where John was in front of the throne of God and God was holding a, a Bible in his right hand and no one was worthy to open it except, um, and I'm going to read that again. It's verse 5, chapter 5 which is precious, I just realized, because five in biblical numerics is grace. So, interesting. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, which is Jesus' genealogy, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Praise God that he can. And then um, the last verse that we read yesterday he took the book and um, every one of them, including the, the beast or the cherubim and the um, elders, had vials holding the prayers of the saints, which are your prayers, everyone's prayers. If you love God, in his eyes, you're a saint because there's no one that's without sin except Jesus. So um, we'll pick it up there. Lord. We ask for wisdom and understanding as we seek you and your word today. Please open eyes and open ears. Um, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So, chapter 5, verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood. Out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on this earth. Where? Not in heaven, on the earth. God is coming here. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand. And thousands of thousands and um, that is actually an old Hebrewism it says here for for countless numbers so no no mystery there saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb Jesus that was slain to receive and here are the spirits of God I told you he's gonna explain it worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Those are the seven spirits of God. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts, cherubim, said, Amen. And Amen means that's that. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. So that's awesome. Um, I'm going to introduce chapter 6, but we're not going to really get into it too far. Um, chapter 6 is just, it's the Lamb, and he starts opening the seals, the seven seals, which coincide um, with the seven trumps and the seven vials. And we're going to take our time really, really, really making sure we understand stand it, because people think that it's confusing. It's really not. Um, but part of that confusion, and what I'm going to read to you here because in the companion Bible that I have the first the seven seals are chronologically um, out of order the Antichrist comes at the sixth seal the sixth vial and the sixth trump that's where you you get 666 for the devil the mark of the beast it's it's all very plain um, however, in the seals, it has him coming in the first seal. 
And I think that is just to make sure that no one is deceived. And when we get into this tomorrow, we're going to go back and forth from what we just read in Matthew 24, Jesus telling us what was going to happen. It coincides with this exactly. Um, but this outline says, so the first seal, the false Christ going forth to make war on the saints. That's the first one. And then um, the second, third, and fourth seals are judgments on him and his followers. And then the fifth seal is the effects of the war with the saints, their martyrdom. And then the sixth seal is judgments on him, on the, the Antichrist and his followers. And then the seventh is the answer to the question um, by sealing all of the elect and um, them enabling to stand judgment and Christ's return and bringing forth the millennium. So I think it helps with an outline or at least it helps me. So that's that's where we're going and sorry we went over a little bit today but we have a lot to cover and we will cover and <laughs> we will pick it up there tomorrow um i love you guys love and blessings to you have a good evening